Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting equation. We have k square minus k cube equal to 2. And we need to solve this question for k. So if you have your answer, your solution, your assumption, you can write your solution in the comments below and then we will check the answers. Okay, so first of all, I want to subtract 2 from both sides. As a result, we will have like k square on the left side. So the same on the left side. So we have k square minus k cube and we have minus 2. Okay, so we have minus 2 equal to equal to zero. Okay, so I really hope you understand this first step. Right now, this two can be written as one plus one. Yeah, with the basic uh, with the basic step. So we have two equal to one plus one. And right now let's change this two by one plus one. So it change nothing, basically it change nothing because this sum equal to two. Okay, let's do it. So we have k square minus k cube and minus in parentheses we will have one plus one. So instead of two we're gonna write one plus one. And a lot of students might be asking why I changed this 2 by 1 plus 1. So in a few seconds you will understand. First of all, let's open parentheses real quick. So as a result, what do we have? We have k square minus k cube minus 1 and minus 1. So after opening parentheses, we have minus 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Right now, this one or this one doesn't matter. So we have two ones. We have 1 and 1. So we have two, two things. First of all, 1 we can write as 1 square equal to 1. And another one, we can write as 1 cube. So we have 1 cube equal to 1 and 1 square equal to 1. So why I change this one by 1 square and 1 cube? Because we have k square, so we can group this k square with 1 square and k cube with 1 cube. So there we will have like a difference of square, sum of cubes or something like that. So let's do it. First of all, we have the same beginning. So we have k square minus k cube minus uh, right here let's write one square so instead of this one we're gonna write one square so minus one square and instead of this one we're gonna write one cube okay so one one cube right now let's try to underline what do we have similar where do we have similar things first of all we have k square right here and we have one square we can easily group it and we have k cube so let's underline it with these lines and we have one one cube so we have uh, two pairs squares and cubes. So right now let's group it. First of all, in the first parentheses, let's group our, mm -hmm, our squares. So as a result, what do we have? We have k square minus one square. Okay, k square minus one square. This is our first parentheses and in the second parentheses we have minus and because of this parentheses we can't write this k, k cube minus one cube. We need to write it as k cube, k cube plus one cube. Okay, plus one, one cube equal to zero. So when we open parentheses without any problems, we will have the same, we will have the same expression. So what are we going to do next? We need to know uh, about uh, two formulas. So the first formula right here, I'm going to underline this formula on the bottom. So the first one, this is difference of squares. Okay, we have right here difference of squares. So we need to remember, we need to learn this formula from school. So x square minus y square equal to, so we have x plus y. Yeah, this is our basic, maybe the most popular formula. Yeah, x plus y a x minus y and the second one these are a sum of two cubes so let's write this formula on the bottom we have uh, let's write it with the x and y as well so we have x cube plus y cube according to uh, this formula we will have a product of two parentheses so we have x plus y x plus y and we have in another parentheses we have x square minus x y and plus y square. And right now we know everything. So right now let's uh, try to split this one by this formula and let's apply this formula to this second case with the sum of cubes. So let's do this. I'm gonna start it on the left side because I need a, a really big big line. So re let's do it on the on the left side. First of all, difference of squares, x plus y, x minus y. In our case, we have a k plus one, yeah, k plus one. And we have k minus 1. This is our first, first parenthesis. In another parenthesis, we have minus. And let, let's do it. So as a result, what do we have? Mm, I'm going to use the double parenthesis because we have mm, subtraction. And right here, I'm going to apply this formula according to this expression. So we have k plus 1. Yeah, we have k plus 1. k plus 1. And in another parenthesis, we have k square. k square minus k and plus 1. Plus one equal to equal to zero right now really important moment because right here we have k plus one and we have the same k plus one right here so we can easily factor it as a common so let's do this right now we can easily factor it 
So let's start with it. So we have k plus 1 right here. And in another parenthesis, what do we have? We have uh, this expression. So we have k minus 1. Yeah, we have k minus 1, k minus 1. And in, in this parenthesis, we have minus. We have this expression here yeah, because we used this k plus 1. So we factor it. So we still have this one. So minus. But with, with parenthesis, of course, k square minus k and plus 1 equal to equal to 0. So I really hope you understand understand this step and I really hope you understand my k because maybe this is not the, uh, the letter that you use a lot of time so maybe you don't understand my my handwritten so I really hope you get it. Okay, this is k. Okay, right now we have k plus 1 on the left side so let's, let's start with it. So k plus 1 and in another parenthesis, we need to simplify this expression. So we have uh, in the beginning we have k minus one with parenthesis. Basically, we don't need it in the beginning. This parenthesis, yeah, we have k minus one. And right here we need to change all the sign to the opposite one. So minus k square plus k and minus one minus one equal to equal to zero. Right now let's simplify this. Let's simplify this expression. So what do we have? We have the same beginning. So we have k plus 1 in the beginning. And in another parenthesis, we're going to have like minus k square. So let's start with that. So minus k square. What about k? We have k plus k. We have 2k. So plus 2k. And minus 1 minus 1 equal to minus 2 equal to zero. And the final step, because, mm, okay, this is up to you, because we can multiply both sides by minus one, and we can change uh, this uh, sign in this parenthesis, we can change the opposite one, because a lot of students don't like this minus in the beginning, so this is up to you. Okay, let's let's leave it like that without any changes. Okay, so a product equal to zero, when the first parenthesis is equal to zero, or the second parenthesis is equal to zero. Okay, in my case, let's start with k plus one equal to zero. So this, this is my first branch, k plus one equal to zero, from here k first equal to minus one yeah k first equal to minus one this is our first root we're going to check this root a little bit later right now let's solve um this quadratic equation yeah let's start with it so we have minus k square plus 2k and plus and minus 2 yeah and right now as i said before we can easily do this uh, we could do this uh, before we can multiply by minus one but in our case let's do this right now so we can multiply by minus one and, and we have a classic order so we have k square without any minus without any negative signs because a lot of students get confused because of this negative yeah so k square minus 2k and plus 2 equal to 0 and right now this is our basic quadratic equation so we can solve it uh, without any problems with the discriminant or uh, up to you how can you how do you prefer solving this uh, this question so right now let's use for example uh, discriminant real quick so we have discriminant first of all we, we need our coefficient so a equal to 1 uh, b equal to minus 2 and c equal to c equal to 2 okay discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac which is equal to so b square we have minus 2 square minus 2 square minus 4ac minus 4 times a1 times c times 2 and equal to what do we have right here we have 4 4 minus 8 equal to equal to minus 4 so our discriminant is negative so it means that in this branch in this quadratic equation we have like two complex root but doesn't matter we're gonna find it uh, this is uh, it implies that this one is real number root and right here we have two complex roots so let's let's solve it this is our k first we really need our I'm gonna start it on the left side also I really hope you understand it because I don't have enough space sorry about it so we have k second and third equal to minus b this is our all known formula plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a so we have minus b minus minus 2 minus minus 2 this is minus b plus minus square root of discriminant i'm gonna separate this part like that because yeah so we have minus plus minus square root of discriminant square root of minus 4 and all over to a 2 times 1 right now real quick minus minus equal to plus so we have 2 uh, plus minus square root of minus 4 it looks like this is equal to 2 because a lot of students might be thinking okay 4 that square root of 4 equal to 2 but we have negative 4 so it means that we need to split it like square root of minus 1 and square root of 4 this is a correct way to do this because uh, without this maybe a lot of students might be thinking that this is equal to 2 but this is not a 2 this is 2 but with something more we have square root of minus 1 yeah square root of minus 1 equal to i these are a complex unit so as a result we have 2 plus minus these are i so 2i 2i and all over all over 2 and when we divide it uh, of course we can easily divide our numerator by uh, by 2 so our answer is 1 and uh, 1 plus minus i 1 plus minus i
these are our two mm, two complex roots so i'm gonna write uh, my full answer final answer to this question and then we can easily check real quick our real number root okay so our answer to this to this question yeah so we have k first equal to minus one k second equal to let's go with the plus sign so one plus i and k third equal to one minus i these two roots are uh, complex root this one real real number root and real quick we can easily check our um, k first uh, equal to minus one so let's do this right here so we have proof in the beginning what we had we had a k square minus k cube equal to and i really hope my root is is great here we have minus one square when we plug in uh, k first equal to minus one so we have minus one square minus minus one cube and equal to two yeah right here we have one minus minus we have plus because we have an, an odd power yeah so it means that it's not like minus one square minus one to the fourth minus one to the six equal to one because we have even power right here we have odd power so it means we keep this negative sign with this negative we have positive and one cube equal to one so our root is our root is uh, correct. So this is my solution to this question. Very basic classic cubic equation. Maybe you can write your solution, write your assumption in the comments below because you know there are a lot of ways how can we solve this question with the Cardano formulas. Maybe you have another another way. But uh, to be honest, this is maybe the most easiest way the easiest way mm, because uh, we can easily mm, split these two by the thumb of two cubes by difference of two cubes and you know and then you can group it this is not the 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 common case to be honest because for example when you have for example three you can't split it like that maybe you can uh, group uh, squares cubes but not both you can't group squares and cubes in this case it works perfectly so i really hope you understand uh, these uh, this solution you can also write your notes write your solution write your assumption in the comments below let's discuss a little bit about this question maybe you have like your way your own way how can we solve it quicker and uh, you know it's it's really great to to exchange information so thank you for your time take care of yourself have a great day and see you in the next videos